We're joined on the phone right now by Congressman Mario diaz Ballard, who of course serves uh, South Florida in the U.S. Uh, House of Representatives. He's the chairman of the House Appropriations Subcommittee on Transportation, Housing, and Urban Development. And uh, Congressman, I know you were even quoted in this press release uh, that, that I've been reading from that came out just a couple of days ago on March 10th, uh, talking about how this was a first of its kind pedestrian bridge. As you see these pictures now and you know of the tragedy that's unfolding, what is your response, sir? Well, obviously, uh, just horrified and saddened and shocked. Uh, I'm, I'm up here in Washington, D.C., and, and I have this on the screen. And obviously, our, our thoughts and prayers first go out to the, to the victims and to their relatives. And, and again, it's a horrific sight. Uh, this was a, uh, a bridge that uh, very recently was put over. Actually, by the way, I was there. Uh, when, uh, you know, during the ceremony, when it was, in essence, it wasn't open, but it was the ceremony of, of, of in essence, placing this bridge. Uh, uh, something that was supposed to be in, to be a, a, a you know, a gateway bridge, a, a, a visual that the world would see, uh, obviously, of this beautiful bridge, and obviously now it's a totally different visual that all of us are just watching with horror and with uh, incredible sadness. Congressman, I wonder how familiar you are with these uh, accelerated bridge construction methods that were used to put this bridge into place. I and mean, this was something that was supposed to reduce risk. Uh, and of course, that is not what we, have, what we are seeing today. Uh, what, are you, what are you aware of in terms of the, the, the techniques and the methods that were used to put this bridge in place, something that uh, was really being called revolutionary? Yeah, obviously, I'm, look, I'm not an engineer, but, you know, the interesting thing is that Florida International University is world renowned for, for ABC, for accelerated bridge construction, for it's their, their uh, you know, twice, every couple of years, they have people from around the world to come to FIU uh, to discuss techniques and to look at, um, among other things, um, you know, what are the safest ways, the, the best ways to proceed precisely on bridges. And so... Um, yeah, this is this is something that is uh, again horrific. Um, uh, there, if there are going to be a lot of questions uh, that are going to have to be answered. By the way, I just got off the phone with uh, the Secretary of the United States Department of Transportation, Secretary Chow. We are both obviously first and foremost thinking of those who are potentially trapped uh, underneath the, uh, the structure. And uh, so right now, obviously, our thoughts are to make sure that. You know, looking at these horrific images, the, our prayers and our thoughts were those that are not only uh, potentially impacted and have been uh, potentially injured or killed, but also to those first responders who, by the way, as you can see in the, in the images, are, are really risking life and limb to try to rescue uh, the potential victims. But there are going to be a lot of answers, a lot of questions that are going to have to be answered as to what happened here. How was this possible that something like this uh, this magnitude could have happened, and again, uh, particularly when when you have potentially among the, the best experts in the world who are in, involved in the design and the construction of this facility, uh, these are very reputable individuals. Whether obviously it's FIU or whether it's all of the folks involved, and again, so a lot of there are going to be a lot of questions that are going to have to be answered. But right now, the most important thing is to try to save again save these people who are hopefully. Uh, still alive, and, and again, our, our, our thoughts and prayers are with them, and also the first responders who are constantly risking their lives under the, difficult, the most difficult situations and circumstances, as I think we can watch in the images in the news. Well, we share those sentiments, Congressman, as we send out our thoughts to those people who may be still in harm's way, and the first responders as well. I just wonder, though, because of your role as, uh, as chair of the Appropriations Subcommittee on Transportation and Housing and Urban Development, as, as the, the proposal for this bridge, as the grant was being considered uh, to build this structure, were there any concerns? Did anyone raise any red flags about any any part of the project at all? Not to my understanding. My understanding was, again, you're dealing with, um, this was the, the, the first, uh, this was a, what is known as a Tiger Grant. This is the first Tiger Grant uh, to go to a university, and it was a, a collaborative effort between the university, between the city, uh, uh, and, and you know, a, in essence, a public-private type partnership. Um, and there is no doubt that the folks that are involved in this project 
are among the most reputable, the most well-known, um, both dealing with this kind of construction in the entire world. And so, so no, this is, this is again, um, hard to fathom, hard to understand. Uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, questions, obviously. Um, uh, and, uh, and right now, obviously, the, the urgent thing is, the, is, this, is this rescue effort that's underway. But there are going to have to be a lot of, uh, a lot of questions answered as to what happened, how is this possible that it happened. Uh, right now, obviously, uh, we just have to focus on, on those, the victims and trying to rescue those victims. And that's why I'm so grateful, as all of us I know are, uh, for these first responders that are out there risking life and limb, literally, in order to try to get folks out of this uh, situation who may still be trapped under these tons and tons of concrete and steel. We are talking on the phone with Congressman Mario diaz Bilart, uh, who, of course, represents uh, South Florida in Washington, D.C. And we don't want to keep you for too much longer, but my colleague, Ruta Bey Shabazi, has just joined our coverage, Congressman, and I know she has a quick question for you. Hi, Congressman. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit more about the bridge. I know you were very involved in it, and it has been a point of pride for the university. Can you tell us anything else about the bridge, what you know about it? Again, I, I'm not an engineer, and so, uh, I, you know, uh, all of us who, who fought hard to get the federal portion of, of these funds and knew that these funds were going to, again, exceedingly reputable and folks with an incredible track, track record of, of doing precisely this kind of thing. And as I was mentioning a little while ago, FIU is renowned, is world renowned yeah, yeah. for their because expertise. We're gonna, we're gonna go on um, so much so that engineers from around the country come to FIU, I believe it's every two years in this conference, to literally look at techniques and technologies uh, to make bridges stronger, safer, quicker, last more, more resilient. Uh, and so whether it's the firms that are designed it or constructing it, uh, these are all top notch. Um, so again, this is this is horrific and something that I don't think anybody um, could have foreseen. But obviously, something went catastrophically wrong. Catastrophically uh, wrong. And uh, and uh, we're going to have to have a lot a lot of uh, of questions answered in the days and months uh, to come. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we appreciate you giving us the information that you have in the early goings here, uh, and uh, we will be checking back with you. Congressman Mario diaz Bilart, who is uh, the chair of the House Appropriations Subcommittee on Transportation, Housing, and Urban Development, part of the, uh, the body in Congress uh, that, that approved the spending for this structure.